Hi everyone, this is Jeanette again this evening and I'm here today to do a scrapbook uh, page and this is the beginnings of the page here in front of me. For this um, project we're going to be using a Tim Holtz ruler, my perfect layers, we're going to be using two stays on ink pads, the timber brown and the jet black. I'm going to be using some Just Me cardstock edges, some paper flowers by Basil, um, uh, like hat pin, some other layered flowers, and we are going to be using the Hannah Montana cartridge, and we're going to be using the butterfly that's on page 75 we're going to be using this one and we're going to be cutting it in the shadow I'm sorry we're going to be cutting it on this uh, Dalek this uh, detailed one and the base so let's get started the first thing I did was chose the photo that I wanted and I cut down a 5 by 7 photograph of my daughter and my granddaughter. This is my daughter Kate and my granddaughter Alyssa. Kate is Alyssa's aunt and so I trimmed down the photo and I rounded the corners of that and then I just took actually what I'm doing here is I'm following a sketch and this sketch I got off of um, scrapbook.com and it's from Q Diggity's gallery and it's sketch Al Q3 and if you visit uh, scrapbook.com and just search for Q Digg Diggity, you'll find a lot of her her sketches. So basically what I did was I rounded the photo like she did, cut some patterns, uh, different patterns of paper on the border, the border edges, the edge. Uh, I went ahead and just cut that to fit my bigger sheet of paper. I don't like to measure, so I just kind of laid things out and did it the way I wanted. And then I went ahead and adhered the scalloped edge to this sheet of paper just using my AdTech glue. Then I cut another sheet of paper to layer behind this and then a coordinating sheet of paper to layer behind those. And I went ahead around each one of them and I inked them with the black stays on. I have a piece of ribbon here and the paper pack that I used for this project was the designer scrapbooking paper it's called the first blush and so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna assemble this page so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and adhere the longer strip of paper to my page and I think I'm gonna just kinda I'm going to use my mat as my grid, and I think I'm going to position that right about here. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the next sheet of paper. And this is a great way to use just scraps, because I went ahead and put two sheets of paper together that matched in order to use uh, my scraps up. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere these to my page now. And I'm going to put that right about there. Then I'm going to take the layers that I added. And here you'll see that I added some brads. And I just used the Tim Holtz ruler and marked them here so I would get the even spacing and added the brads. position this right about here a 
kind of judge that right about there. Next, I'm going to adhere my picture. And you can see from the back of here, I use scrap paper again. I'm going to adhere that here. Here. Put that right about there. Then I have a piece of ribbon here. I'm not sure where this ribbon came from. I think it came from Walmart or Hobby Lobby. I'm not really sure. I'm going to just adhere some of my tape to the back end of the ruler. And I'm going to put that I'm going to line up with my uh, grid on my mat again. And I'm going to bring this probably right about here. I am going to lift up my pa my picture just a little bit. I hear that under there. Bring this to the back. Stick it down. That's what that looks like. Make sure it's straight. And then I'm going to go ahead and I had cut my lettering earlier. I had cut out the word safe because we were at a parade and Lisa was a little bit nervous with all the noise that was going on. And so Auntie Kate picked her up and she felt safe in Kate's arms. And let me see, break this for a minute. 